Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for how your person is feeling about you for the rest of July and August. So if you have a specific person in mind and you're interested in finding out more about how they see you, what they like, what they don't like about the dynamic between you both, or just generally how they feel about you and what their overall level of interest is in pursuing a relationship for the rest of July and August, then keep on watching. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So you may also like to watch the readings for the zodiac sign of your person, as sometimes the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. With all that being said, let's get into the reading. Okay, Gemini, what's happening with your specific person? How do they see you? How do they feel about you? What is happening there for the rest of July and August? How does Gemini's person feel about them, please? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? How are they coming across? Are they seeing any long-term potential? What is going on? Gemini's person, please. How does this person feel about Gemini? How do they feel? How does Gemini's person feel? So Gemini, this person currently sees you as the page of pentacles. So you could be a little bit younger than them or the person you're interested in could be a little bit older. Um, they might see you as a little bit less mature or less experienced than they are. However, they do see you as someone who's very committed to what you set out to do, whether that be um, as a student or like in your studies or in your work, they see you as someone who is very committed. They see you as someone who likes to undertake a lot of research in what you do. They see you as someone who's very organized. They like this about you because they can see that your dedication to what you want to set out to achieve would also probably be mirrored in dedication to a relationship or a love situation. They see you as very um, focused but sometimes that focus can mean that you're not as in tune to what's going on around you, potentially. You could get sort of distracted by something, work on that, and then maybe forget about other things that you need to be taking care of. But overall, they see you as an ambitious person, someone with a future focus, future plans and they also think that you would be quite loyal and practical in a relationship what this person shows to you or how they come across is the king of swords so right off the bat again you could be um dealing with someone older than you you could be younger than them um you could be dealing with an Aquarius or another air sign, another Gemini or Libra. This person is coming across as very strong and authoritative. They could be 
the boss or some kind of superior to you at work, potentially. This person is very ruled by logic and their rational mind. They are not very emotional and they're, or they don't come across as emotional. So obviously everyone has emotions deep down. It's just how much they choose to show. And this person definitely does not wear their heart on their sleeve. In all their sort of communications and dealings with people, they are very rational and logical. They tend to stay very um, neutral in situations as well. So they don't have very strong emotional reactions to things. And that can make this person come across sometimes as being a little bit cold or unfeeling. But that's not the case. The King of Swords has emotions. They're just kind of buried a bit more deeply inside there. They're not going to be at the forefront. And it can... Even though this person is so clever, so rational in everything that they do, um, they sometimes can come across as quite cold and unfeeling. And it can leave people wondering, you know, does this person actually have feelings towards me or not? Or are they just kind of treating me like they would everyone else? How they feel here, how they actually feel about you. Because that's how they're coming across. This is how they feel. They feel the three of pentacles. Um, again, I'm getting, you know, pentacle energy here. So once again, it could be someone that you work with. It's not going to be for everyone, but it could be someone that you work with. And again, someone who is um, at a superior position to you or someone with a different skill set. But I generally, I generally see the Three of Pentacles as quite positive in love readings. And that's because it shows people who are complementing each other and working together. So I think they feel that you, you and them would actually make quite a good team together. Both of you are not afraid to work hard and put in the effort. Both of you are not afraid to think about the future and make plans for the future and then put steps in place to walk to to sorry work towards those goals or those plans. So this person being as you know logical and rational as they are is definitely thinking about the future and I like this in their energy as to how they're feeling about you because it shows that you are a part of their future plans this person thinks that they could build something solid and very valuable with you so that's really really nice the three of swords here is coming up as something that they like about you so even though we see the three of swords and it looks quite scary because it's you know three swords obviously piercing a heart it's not very nice um never nice to come up in a love reading or reading about how someone feels about you but it's coming up as a positive in this reading so it's something that that this person likes about you and so i think what this is showing is they actually like that you've experienced hurts and heartbreak before not because they want you to you know feel those terribly sad emotions but they like the fact that you've come out stronger you know you're not a completely naive person when it comes to dealing with other people and when it comes to um heartbreak and and grief and those sorts of feelings they like the fact that you've experienced that you've learned from it and you've come out as a stronger person or a better person because of the bad things that you've experienced in your life you're not afraid to pick yourself back up again and heal 
after experiencing setbacks or heartbreaking situations. Sometimes it takes loss and grief in life and relationships to actually appreciate it when we do find someone who brings true value to our lives or when we find an emotionally mature, stable relationship. Having experienced heartbreak in the past helps us appreciate something good when we do find it. What they don't like about you is the Ten of Pentacles. It's an interesting card to get in in that position, like as a negative or an obstacle or something this person doesn't like, because usually it's such a positive card to get. Um, but what this really says to me is that there could be traditional values holding you back, or maybe this person feels like a family member is getting in the way of your connection somehow. Maybe there are religious difference between you guys, or there's, you know, cultural differences, like you come from a different background, different, whether that be like religious or maybe, um, different nationality and something about your cultural differences or something about a member of your family is maybe getting in the way or for some reason they see it as a restriction or as a as a block for some reason i'm not too worried about this because when we look at the final card here we've got the two of cups so i mean Wow, this is a fantastic card to get as the final card in your reading. So I pulled this for basically what this person's overall um, overall level of interest in, in you or in pursuing a relationship with you is. So what a beautiful card here to finish off with. We haven't had any, um, you know, cups card in this whole reason, in this whole uh, reading, sorry, but we finish off nice and strong here with the two of cups. So Two of Cups is all about new love, new connection, new feelings between two people. It's coming together on an equal footing to, to start something new or take things to the next level. It also speaks of not just a romantic connection, but also a really nice friendship between you both. This person's feelings actually run quite deep, even though they're coming across as the King of Swords, they're coming across quite unemotional. They do have deep feelings there for you. Sometimes this can be a card of marriage. So for some of you, it could be that this person is maybe even thinking about proposing or at least sees a future with you that involves marriage and a, and a deeper commitment. Overall, this is showing me that this person sees the potential between you two. They, they want to, they see that you can both kind of work hard, work together as a team. For me, both of these cards um, indicate teamwork. And they think that you can grow into a really stable, happy, harmonious partnership together. So, yeah, I hope you're happy with this reading, Gemini, um, because what a fantastic outcome for you. Thanks for watching.